What's poppin' people? What's poppin' people? It's your boy Black at you, back at you, and a short one just for you, fam. This one's gonna be about um weak people. I'm gonna call it weak people this one here. Now in my when I say about weak people, I mean by lifting the weights and we're fighting and things like that. I mean weak people that are um, emotional, emotional. For example, okay, what I do not like to see is um have a couple. They've been together for a couple years, right? But once they break up, they start complaining about their um their other, the significant other. Oh, they didn't do this. They will stink. Um his his penis was small. Um you don't work. You don't do nothing. You don't do nothing like that. But you'll have a couple of kids with um the man. You know what I'm saying? A couple of kids, not just one, have a couple of kids. You know what I'm saying? It's like this here. If you feel that something is wrong in a relationship that you don't like about, about your spouse, you need to talk to them and try to correct it. If they do not correct it, then you leave. Finish that deal. But if you stay there you know, for a couple years, what the hell can you say? huh? Why are we stay with the person? Why? Because it's for financial reasons, because he's paying for you. So, But that makes you less of a woman, right? Makes you less of a woman. I guess think of these women doing that there, right? But far worse than that is when men do it. Yeah, when men do it. I get sick and tired of seeing these men be on um, internet, YouTube, Facebook, even some of my old homies, you know, be on there crying about their relationships, you know, on Facebook. Like, come on, dude. You got about 50 years old. You see all this crying. Every time something happens to you and your woman, you got to put it on Facebook or something like that there. That's weakness, fam. You know what I'm saying? A sign of weakness, right? Excuse me, fam. My allergy bothered me, you know. Uh, past couple of days, you know what I'm saying? But, um, I'll get through it. But back to topic, right? These weak dudes are here. Now, it's these weak dudes are here, you know, trying to expose their ex-women for any reason. I just saw a video with, um, was the Pharaoh, young Pharaoh. I haven't seen this dude in a while, so, you know what I'm saying? But he popped up once, I guess, somebody's on reaction to one of his videos, right? And I saw him. And I was like, man, this dude is still at it. He is still at it, you know what I'm saying? I said like this, I didn't give the young brother some respect when he first came out kicking the knowledge stuff. Yeah, this all it was sounding good or trillion years, galactical and all this other shit. Yeah, like, wow, it's something good to listen to. Something to learn about. But he's not kicking out like that. I haven't seen that for a couple of years with this dude now, you know what I'm saying? Every time I see a video of him, he's talking about um his benches. You know, it was a like gold golden beauty, yeah. Um, some other one. They were starting to end of some other shit there, you know what I'm saying? He's beating his women up. He's admitting that he's beating these women up. He says, he said, I'm going to beat her ass. He says all oh, this in there, right? But now he's on a video complaining about the woman. You know, call her a prostitute. Tomorrow, um, I want to have two kids with her. I had two kids with the other woman. You know, it just sounded weak. I always say the dude got feminine ways. That was funny what I say. I always say he got some kind of feminine ways, the way he talking. And, you know, it's, uh, it, it's just too many feminine ways to guide it, right? I'm sure he had a father in the house, right? But that's no excuse, right? But this dude here is complaining, calling him a prostitute. Um, I don't know what she's doing. Blackmailing me. Like, I'm being forced to stay with her. I listen this about five minutes and she don't like that. What the dude talking about? You know what I'm saying? That's a weak dude, dear. If he even comes and says someone blackmailing me like that, um, I was made to stay with her. I was forced type shit. You no, know? come on, man. Who would do some shit like that? Huh? Who would do something like that? Why you call him a woman a prostitute? You was with her years now. You got two kids with her. Uh, when was she selling her, her body? When? Before you? But now after you? So if she's selling bully after you, you should be worried about that goddamn thing now. She's not with you no more. She can do the hell she wants if she's doing that there. But I highly doubt it that this woman is um, walking around selling her body and things like that. He's saying things like this here, right? He, told, he calls the parents. They don't do nothing. He says she don't want to go home because the parents are abusing her. He always got something that's like uh, that's in his favor. In his favor. So it makes you think, why is you doing this here? Huh? Bing, got that reason. Must be some court case going on where she ain't not letting his see the kids. I know that's what it is. So now he's trying to, um, I said, uh, I said the correct word for defamation of character. That's if, yeah, that's if it's not true. So we're not saying it's not true, not what he's saying, but um, he's trying to make her look bad. Put it that way. I understand what I'm trying to say. Try to make her look bad. So if they do go to court, they can say, oh, Whatever, or some prostitution, but there's no kind of um, a proof of it. She has never been arrested for prostitution, so that's not gonna end. Have no kind of um, nothing in court. It's not gonna hold nothing. 
But this dude, he's reaching, he's reaching, he's reaching. This goes that these dudes there, you know, they weak. They weak, you know what I'm saying? He thinks going to be some kind of, um, whatever, you know, Mr. Polygamous man, you know, have a house full of bitches in there. But no, no, they they not having that there, you know what I'm saying? They not having it, no. They might say they, they, they be with it, but um, there's always going to be some problems between the women. Unless they know each other and they agree upon it, everything's cool. You can't just bring women to a situation that she don't know, expect this polygamy shit to got their work. You know what I'm saying? That's not going to work. And especially got two kids from you, so she has extra feelings. You know what I'm saying? But now you bring some new girl in who look fine, and they got some pretty hair, pretty face, what it is that she don't have. She might have two babies, gain some weight, and couldn't get the weight off. Now you bring some fresh stuff in the house. And you expect her to be like, oh yeah, fam, everything's cool. Y'all go see if they have some sex with them. I'm going to cook, cook y'all some pancakes. So she said, that, that doesn't happen that way. This is this fantasy Egyptian kitchen shit they're talking about there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but probably never been to this goddamn place. You know what I'm saying? Do not listen. These dudes talking about this kitchen Egypt shit. They never, never step foot in the motherland. So don't listen to that shit. Dude. But back to this dude here. Any dude that does things like that is fucking weak. You know what I'm saying? And ladies, you know what I'm saying? Y'all do like that, it means y'all are weak. Anybody's going to be with someone, they complain after y'all break up about their faults. Oh, this person, like, he, he said some shit about she's not the cleanest person. That like, she's a dirty woman. Um, last time he, he had sex with her, her vagina stink. Why are we put this out here? You've been going for a couple years, a few years. You got two kids. You come from goddamn Buffalo together. You're going to scan everybody on the internet talk about, um, you going to take you to the court and send me money. I huh? remember that shit about three years ago. I dreamed because I was making views in that shit there. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I'm um, I'm gonna sue you too because they taking my stuff down this and that. Send me some donation and, and people send donations, dude. Then and what happened? Once he got enough money, he left out of fucking Buffalo, New York, and went down to fucking Texas and got him a little cheap house down there. Why? Cause there's no there's no um state tax down there too, so you get things a little cheaper down there. So that's what he did. Scheme and scammed his way into a house down somewhere else. You know what I'm saying? At first he he kept calling it a mansion. He kept calling the man. So I was like, dang, he must scam, scam some good cash. These dudes here give him a nice big ass crib, right? But then what? He showed he's, he's in front of the house there. This is a, a regular little, um, it's a regular neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? This ain't no goddamn big mansion house. Definitely not there. No big giant pools and all this other goddamn shit. You don't see that shit. He'll keep on showing it. And you see when he walked through his house there, do it look bare to you, right? Look empty, really. It's like nothing. It's like, What's there? They show him the garage, some shit with his little, um, we call it shit, his little, his little placket there and all this little chair and things like that. But the rest house, I don't see too much stuff there, you know what I'm saying? It's like, um, he's barely making it, you know what I'm saying? He tried to like, he said, I made $2 million last year. So one video told me, dear, these are some car dealership, trying to get a used car, trying to get a loan on a used car. Then had 11% to put down on some shit there. They're going to try to call a man a racist. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is, this car dealer do not want to sell him a car. Like, he don't want to get the commission from you buying this car. You're a goddamn fool. Your credit is bad, dude. You know what I'm saying? You're filthy. <laughs> this dude is filthy. He is. And weak. But doing shit like that. Now, to put out there on this woman there. And like I say, this here. When y'all do things like that, come against your, um, your woman, your, your ex-wife, your, your ex-husband. You come with things like that, you, you spit all the bitters out on the internet, trying to embarrass somebody that shows you a weak piece of shit, right? Because you have no regard for your children. They're going to see this shit, dear. I'm looking for two, three years later, they're going to see it. So they're going to walk to him, yeah, man, yeah, your mama or whore, or your father, this and that, little penis, oh, he's so booty. Any goddamn thing they don't think of on the internet, dear, it's not going away. So what you going to tell your children, huh? Why you dish your mind like that on the internet, huh? If you got some bad agreement with her, you can talk to her about it. You don't put her on the goddamn internet. Not family business. You know what I'm saying? If you, you're not um, married, whatever it is, you know what I'm saying? Y'all got kids, they're still a goddamn family. You know what I'm saying? You are family. You say, oh, we're not married. Doesn't mean a goddamn thing. You know what I'm saying? Y'all stuck on this goddamn Christian shit in your goddamn head when you got a woman, you got kids. Well, I ain't put a ring on the finger. I didn't go to church, so I'm not married. You need to get back to the roots after style, goddamn it. You have a woman, you have a kid, have a traditional wedding, you know what I'm saying? The mother and father, family, they say, this is my wife, and this is what it is, finish. That's family, you know what I'm saying? You don't go against family. You don't go against your um, your children, mother. 
Private, yes. But now no goddamn internet trying to embarrass her or her trying to embarrass him, fam. That's my little show about these weak ass people there. Always want to expose their spouses on the internet there. Well, not even think about their children. Huh? Not even think about the kids. Want to see this stuff, there, fam. Goddamn shame. And I'm out. Peace.